Okay, so real quick, we are going to grab an image and then I'm going to show you how to take an outline of it, make a cut file for it, dial in the engraving, and even make a little tab that we can punch a hole in to hang the ornament. You're going to have the laser do all that for us. So all we have to do is sand, finish, tie a string. So let's head on over to my favorite website for commercial free images. That's pixabay.com. You can use, if this is a personal project, you can use uh, Google Images or something, but I'm going to use this just in case I try to sell this ornament at some point. So we're going to go ahead and type snowman in. And we're going to filter by illustrations, just because we don't want real images of snowmen. That's not going to help us out. So I got some decent options. That guy is pretty decent. Let's see what else we got here before we make a choice. Scrolling, scrolling, scroll. Ooh, okay, I like I like this guy here. He's got spunk. So let's go ahead and grab him. Uh, go ahead, hit download. I don't want this as a vector. I actually want it as a PNG because I'm gonna do the engraving as well. So okay, let's go ahead and download that. Uh, you can make a free account and then you don't have to enter captchas all the time. If you don't make an account, you might have to enter a captcha every time you do a download. Snowman. There we go. So I'm going to show you what I would do to edit this image to make it ready to become an ornament. So like I said, I want to keep the engraving. I want to make an outline so that it cuts and then we might have to make some other changes just to make it look good. But right off the bat, I can see I want to get rid of this little shadow here. See that down there? That should be really easy. So let's go to edit image over here once we have it selected and XCS allows you to do the magic select delete magic wand tool where you like uh, you find pixels of similar color and delete them all at once so we're gonna click down here boom super easy all right let's save that uh, my stock material that I have in there is seven millimeter cherry hardwood that we've cut to that thickness because we find it to be a pretty efficient one for cutting so let's select this image Go over to the outline tool and outline it. I'm going to choose a distance of four because at that distance, all these pieces around what would be a brittle little part of this uh, with the stick hands. See if I go down here to two, see these little gaps, little opportunities there for things to break. So I'm going to go up to four actually, maybe three and a half. Whoops, not. 35, whoa, not 25, 3.5. Okay, I like that. Let's hit OK. And the technique that I like to use for turning this into an ornament, making a little tab that you can add a string to, is I'll go to the circle tool. Let's make something roughly the right size, something like that and then position it where we think it should go. So I like that. And now I will zoom in to show you exactly what's gonna happen here. Go ahead and click drag over everything to select it all and then filter to the vectors by hitting select vector here. Now we have just the line files. So what we're gonna do is go up to here and you're going to see combine on the main menu here is one of these main options go to combine and hit unite and then watch right here all right so those are united now those two shapes so what we can then do is insert another circle let's zoom in so we can place this more easily and then let's drag that to right about here so we're going to have the laser cut that so that we can put a string through it might as well have it do as much for us as we can, right? So let's click drag everything, hit select vector, and these are all the things we're gonna wanna cut, right? So let's go over to power, change that to 100, change the speed to uh, five. I have the Xtool M1 10 watt laser. So mine's a little more powerful than that base model that they sell. I can do this in uh, two passes at a speed of five. I could probably even go up to six and be fine, but we're gonna start here for now. Okay, so that's all set. There's one last thing we have to take care of, and that's the engrave options for this snowman here. What do we want this to look like? Uh, let's go ahead and trace it, see what it looks like. 
Oh, not good. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's not picking up the white, so... Uh, we won't use that. We'll leave it as a PNG. Let's go power 100, speed 250, one pass is fine. I have no idea how this is going to come out. I don't do a lot of white. But let's find out. <laughs> so that might look like nothing at all. Let's try this. Maybe we can outline this guy again. So we have just the bitmap selected here, just the snowman. Maybe we can trace him. Actually, let's not trace him. Let's use the outline tool. Put an offset distance of zero. There we go. Offset of zero. What's going on at the tips here? Oh, that's weird. And then that's going to be scored. Power 100%, speed 150-ish. Okay, let's try this. I actually really like this little dude. His arms seem sturdy enough. This scorch on the top ring here will come off with some light sanding, no problem. Maybe I'll make this rim a little thicker. Um, yeah, that's a really quick ornament. Let's go ahead and add some custom text to the back. All right, so now real quick, I'll show you how easy it is to add custom text in XCS. So, whoops, okay, so go to select here, click drag over this whole ornament from earlier. We're gonna change that to ignore. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on the ornament that I just placed here. Go over to the text tool, easy enough. Oh, might have to zoom out to find that, there it is. There we go. So let's go ahead and make that smaller. Let's pick a font that we like. I like this one here. Atma. Text. Uh, let's do Xmas 2023. Let's go over here to power. Oh, actually, let's change this to an engraving. Go to power. You could do score, by the way, you just get this outline shown here, and that can be effective too, and it can be really quick. But I like the proper engraving. Let's go to a power of 100. I'm going to leave the speed down here at 80, so we get a nice deep engraving. Uh, you're going to want the air assist on if you do that, though. I'll show you what happens when you don't put it on. All right, so that was a 38 second burn. So I remembered to attach the, or sorry, to uh, turn on the air assist and we got this nice engraving here. Here's one that I did earlier that I forgot to turn it on and look at all that scorch that you would have to sand off. So the air assist definitely saves you a lot of time there.
All right, so there you have it. We designed an ornament. We sourced the image. We did all the software thingies. We did the custom text on the back. Took not all that long. Uh, this guy overall, I like the size of them. I might consider just sticking with this size if I ever sold these, or I might make it slightly bigger. Let me know in the comments what you think would be best. All right, just one more thing to do. Okay, I'm actually very happy with how that turned out. I'm going to make one for the family tree, and I think I'm going to make a couple more and maybe even let's list these on Etsy. Who knows? Maybe I'll give them away. I just know I want to make more of them. So I'm going to try to make this whole situation a little bit bigger, though it is kind of cute the size it's at now. So I won't go too much bigger. Uh, I don't really need to change much about this unless there's any way I can think of to make it even faster. But I think we're pretty much good. I am going to let her rip. I'm going to check, though, to see. Yeah. I was wondering if I could maybe put these in a different orientation and get more out of the material. But I don't think so. I think we're going to be pretty good right here. So what I'm going to do now, since I am so sure I like these, is I'm going to select everything. Control-C and then go over here. Control-V. Oh, okay. It's just going to put it there. And I'm going to go ahead and run multiple of these. Control C, Control V, OK. Boom. Control V again. Now we're over here. OK. Let's crank these out. There you go, got a bunch of them made now, and this file is dialed in in case I ever want to make more. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comments, you know, if you didn't learn something and expected to, let me know that in the comments, because I want to make better content moving forward. Go ahead and like to help me out, and uh, consider subscribing. Take care.